Uh, we're going to start with Mike Giardi, followed by uh, Henry, uh, followed by Mark Daniels. Go ahead, guys. Nikhil, thanks for doing this. Um, I know you spent a lot of time working on your footwork this offseason. Was that something that you identified and said, if I want to get to the next level and be a consistent NFL player, I've really got to refine that? Yeah, you know, I just went into this offseason just just attacking and just trying to improve all facets of my game. And um, that was one of them I, I, I uh, thought that I had to improve on. So that's, that's one that I focused on a lot. Do you feel like you can you can you sense it early in camp that you did make that improvement? Yeah, definitely. I feel a lot uh, better, and then I slimmed down a little bit. So, um, you know, those are two things that that helps me a lot in those areas. Thank you. Uh, next up, Henry McKenna, followed by Mark Daniels. Nikhil, I saw um, on social media that you've been doing a bunch of work with the with Jared Stidham and Brian Hoyer and, and Cam Newton. What were those off-season sessions like, and how do you think your relationship with them on and off the field is developing? You know, uh, it helped a lot, you know, just getting to go out there and throw with your quarterback, especially during the off-season. Uh, trying to build chemistry always helps a lot. Um, and, and, you know, it, al it also helped our uh, off-the-field uh, relationship. You know, I knew uh, Stidham and Hoyer more than I knew Cam, so... Uh, I got to meet Cam a little bit this off season and get to know him as a person as well. What did What did you learn about him? If, sorry to follow up, but uh, you know he's a he's a hard worker. He's a great player, and you know he brings a lot of energy to the field. Uh, next question, Mark Daniels, followed by Ian Steele. And Akil, hope all is well. Um, what would you say you learned about yourself last year, your first year in the NFL, and what do you feel like you have to prove heading into your second? Um, you know, I learned that in the NFL, you, you know, you just have to prove yourself day in and day out. This is a league where nothing is given to you and uh, you earn everything day by day. So uh, that's my approach coming into this season. And, and that's my approach stepping onto the field every day. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, Ian Steele, followed by Levin Reed. Nikhil, thanks for the time today. I'm curious, just your understanding of the offense going into your second year. How much is there to learn with this offense? Do you feel maybe more comfortable now, or is it still, you know, a process for you? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things about this offense um, um, that could be hard to pick up at first. There's a lot of little details that um, a lot of guys don't have to uh, pay attention to in college. And, you know, this second year has helped me a lot, you know, just in the off season, just getting to, to, to study some things and, uh, you know, knowing the offense a lot more. So when I came back, um, I felt very comfortable with it, and, and it just helped me a lot to be a second-year guy. Uh, next Andy question, uh, Levin Reed, followed by Joe Chaotic. Andy Kiel, thank you so much for doing this. You mentioned the offseason. I mentioned the work you put in. How much could you not wait to get to the offseason to say, okay, I know exactly what I have to work on to be a better player the next season? Uh, you know, I was looking forward to it, you know, really right after uh, – playoff game last year you know i just took took about a week or two off just let my body recover and then you know i was right back to it um i felt like it was a great opportunity for me to get a step ahead and and you know to just uh be at the point where i wanted to be at coming into the season so our next question uh joe Kayata followed by trey dare Nikhil, with uh, the short, I guess, camp with a quick turnaround, you know, season starts in less than a month. How important is it for you guys to get clicking and get things going and make the most out of this camp uh, as soon as possible? You know, it's it's very important that we're just going in, stacking the days, um, doing everything we can and really leaving it all on the field every day, you know, because we're, uh, we're even with every team right now. You know, we all started out with a short camp. We all have – limited the time to get ready. So it's really on us just to be prepared and making sure we're we're coming into this building every morning and and leaving every night, uh, getting better at, at some things. Uh, next question, Trey Deer, followed by Mike Reese. Nikhil, thank you for, uh, for taking some time with us today. Uh, just to, to follow up on uh, on a question earlier about Cam Newton, what type of impression did he make? Just uh, you know, him coming into a new situation like that to be in touch with you, 
wanting to try and integrate himself right from the start? Uh, you know, it means a lot to the guys, especially when you got a new quarterback coming in. And, you know, it's important to build chemistry with all the quarterbacks. Um, you know, they're all working hard. Um, they're all busting their ass every day. So um, having that, especially because we didn't get to play with him and we have a shorter offseason, you know, it helped a lot. Next is Mike Reese, followed by uh, Henry McKinnon. Hey, Nikhil, uh, good to see you. Um, you mentioned um, this offseason some of the work that you did to get yourself in a better position, including slimming down a little bit. What led you to want to do that? Um, you know, I just felt like, uh, you know, I felt like I was a little bit big. Um, and, you know, I just felt like slimming down a little bit and, and being a little bit more thin uh, would help me, like, getting off the top of my uh, routes and, you know, getting in and out of my breaks and my releases. And is that, is there a number to quantify that for you? I mean, a weight, like a 225 was where it was listed at. Did you want to get down to a certain number? No, nah, it was more just like not lifting as much, um, you know, just slimming down, uh, uh, eating better. You know, it was a lot of things I went into it. Thank you. Uh, next question, Evan Lazar, followed by Ian Steele. Hey, Nikhil. Uh, I know in the offseason you went down to Houston to work with uh, Rashad Whitfield and uh, the footwork and stuff like that. I just wanted to ask you um, if you feel like that has helped you so far over the last couple of days since you put the pads on and you feel like those are some dividends now working with him. Yeah, definitely. He's, he's very good at what he does. Um, you know, uh, he helps guys get lighter on their feet. And, you know, that's something that, that helped me out. I noticed right away. And then, um, I think they got helped trained. me out. Uh, do I don't have anything. Thanks, Nikhil. Not a big. Um, and unless this was a, a second request, Ian, or to go back to Ian Steele. Yeah, I do have a question. Um, Nikhil, you mentioned how you met with Cam and Jared and Brian in the offseason. I remember last year before your rookie year, you met with Tom Brady in an early session as well. How similar or different were those early sessions before the training camp started between, you know, this year and last year's with Brady? Um, you know, it's all work. Every time we take the field, um, you know, the quarterbacks make, make sure they're doing everything they can to, to, to throw a good ball, get good drops, and, and work on their fundamentals. And, and it's the same for me. Uh, no matter what quarterback is out there, you know, I got to focus on, working on myself and, 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 you know, making sure I'm ready and put myself in position uh, to make the catch and secure the catch. Were the types of workouts similar? Were you doing the same types of things? Yeah, just, just running routes, you know, just building chemistry and, and, and that connection. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Nikhil. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks, everyone.